I want to spend a little bit of time today talking to you about the Bank of America Down Payment Assistance Program that many people have talked about. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brandon, your trusted realtor, and I'm coming to you with another great video, chock full of information. Now, there's two reasons that I'm making this video, because I had no intention, honestly, of actually coming to you and talking about this program. The first reason is because of TikTok and Instagram. I saw on both of them that people were putting out information that was not 100% accurate and that they were actually kind of gaslighting and starting a little bit of misnomer. So that was concerning. And then the second, because I had a conversation with a really, really good friend and basically confirmed that in this space, you need to be making sure that you're covering all things with regard to real estate and being a resource and value add, even if it's not something that applies directly to your customers or your clients. And so with that, I want to spend a little bit of time today talking to you about the Bank of America Down Payment Assistance Program that many people have talked about. Now, many people, and you've probably seen this on the TikTok and the Instagram and the Reels where folks talk about this home ownership program and questioning the motivations on why Bank of America would do this. Well, the underlying reason for this is that it goes back a couple of years now, even a few years more than that. First of all, this is a campaign to end racial discrimination. This all was announced or even started as a brainchild somewhere circa 2019, 2020, or 2020, when Bank of America and a lot of other major lenders realized that there is a host of racial dispar disparity and discrimination that existed in the ecosystem across our country and that they wanted to be on the front lines of helping to resolve that. So what did they do? They banded together to create a host of different programs and opportunities, and they put monies aside, most importantly, they put their money where their mouth was and they started to put together initiatives. Now, we got to go back a little bit in time. A lot of the people you're already seeing online or the videos I saw question the motivation and saying, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to help disadvantaged low income people? ultimately question the motivation of the program. Now, if you go back to 2001, specifically February 3rd, 2021, there was an article that was put out by CBN News or by a news station. And they basically talked about how Bank of America has a home ownership initiative where they've given $15 billion or allocated or pledged to give $15 billion through the year 2025 to help over 60,000 families purchase a home. To date of that article, they had already Already helped somewhere between 21 and 29,000 families purchase a home. What they've done is they've created two different types of programs. They've created a down payment grant and they've created an American home grant. Both of these are nationally extending programs. They're not available in all cities, but they are available in a lot of cities. Now, the down payment grant is available in 260 cities, and the American Home Grant is available in 800 cities. The purpose of these two programs is that they allow for you to do what we call stacking or combining programs together in order for you to achieve down payment and closing cost assistance. Now, the way these programs work is they provide you with a 3% down payment for in order to pay for home that's the max they'll give you right but they may be able to provide you a little bit more if you're in a high cost area now the maximum loan amount that they'll be able to cover conforms with the present conforming loan limits which is six hundred forty seven thousand two hundred dollars they will allow you to purchase in between a single family home or one unit townhouse etc or you can purchase a duplex. So they will support a two unit property. Now, some of you will leave a comment and say, what about a quadruplex, which is a four unit property or a triplex? No, that's not what I said. I said that that's where the rules are. The rules say a one or two unit property. So that's all they'll cover. And it, there are income limits that are associated with what you can buy. And those income limits vary based on the location. Remember I told you 260 cities and 800 cities, right? That's, that's a big delta there. So some localities will be able to use the American Home Grant and not the down payment grant. It really is about talking to Bank of America and figuring out where you live and where you exist in the overall ecosystem. It's also important to understand that for many individuals, they may question, well, why does this bank, why specifically Bank of America? Well, many individuals, when you begin to look at Bank of America's portfolio, Bank of America publicly announces that just about half of the loans that they make are made to people who are 
who are moderate to low income. And what and one of the things to think about when they quote this statistic is they participate and they're the primary funding lender for a program called NACA. This program assists individuals who are low and moderate income understand the course and the rigors and navigate those rigors of down payment and closing cost assistance and the home ownership process. They assist with classes and ultimately they assign you with a counselor who will then make sure that you have the loan or loan product that you need. And Bank of America is the institution that finances those. So this is not uncommon ground for them. I want to reassure people that if you're thinking about using this program, it is well with and reason to take advantage of what opportunities exist in the landscape. At the end of the day, home ownership and doing your research and your due diligence means that you're doing a couple things. First, you're partnering with a local real estate agent who is able to help you to navigate these programs. I will be the first to tell you that not all agents are made the same. And I like to give the analogies as if you go to McDonald's. We all have McDonald's in our neighborhood. If you go to McDonald's on one side of town, you're always going to get piping hot fries, right? Right amount of salt, just a perfect contribution to whatever unhealthy meal you're having for the day, right? And then there's another part of town. If you're in a rush and you go in, you already know to expect that your fries are going to probably be lukewarm or cold or you're just going to not be pleased with the meal. Same umbrella of institution, two different experiences. And that's what needs to happen when you are a homeowner or you're in the process of buying a home is that you're investigating financial institutions to determine which one of these are going to be the best experience for you. This is also no different from a much broader discussion about down payment and closing cost assistance programs that are available. If you are living in a locality like DC, for example, if you are a teacher and you want to buy a home in DC, you can leverage two different types of programs together in order to help you with down payment and closing cost assistance. There are additional resources and that what they are doing here with Bank of America is that they are one living up to an obligation that they committed to through by providing $15 billion through 2025. In addition to that, they're joining a host of other banks like Wells Fargo. Many of us forgot that in some time in 2020, 2021, Wells Fargo announced the Neighborhood Lift Program where they they provided a five-year forgivable down payment assistance loan to individuals that were basically first come, first served to get those monies. We also were, are quick to forget that other financial institutions like J.P. Morgan Chase, they increased their $5,000 down payment assistance and closing cost grant to help individuals living in certain minority communities around the country. Outside of that, you have another financial institution like PNC Bank. They have a closing cost assistance grant that's available to individuals that, that are looking to purchase a house, and that's up to $5,000. The name of the game is information, and that's the purpose here. So let's not be surprised. Let's not be confused to think that, hey, this is going to be an opportunity for a bank to steal property or take property. It's never in a bank's financial interest to take a property or to go into a foreclosure. That's not the name of the game. Rather, this may be an opportunity for you to investigate your unique situation. And remember, everyone's situation is going to be different. So in addition to working with a realtor that can help you navigate and piece some of these things together, it's always, it's the second piece of that is also making sure you do that consultation with a lender that understands your local market and national programs that are going to be available that may be applicable to you. So my name is Brandon Scott. Hopefully this has been a little bit helpful and help you demystify the program and really understanding that this is just a targeted program or strategy that may be advantageous for you if you fit the profile for someone that meets the criteria. You live in one of these communities, you need the down payment and closing cost assistance, and you plan on living in the home, right? And also remember, some of these programs do require that you have uh, additional or continual education and complete that. At the moment, what it appears to be is that these banks want to create an opportunity or a pathway to home ownership and financial freedom for individuals, and ultimately a pathway for generational well, there's no secret that historically black and brown communities have been disadvantaged in this country, whether it becomes access, whether you go back to Levittstown and the creation of that. And ultimately, many people don't realize the creation of the of FHA. There's a portion of history where, where there's even whole communities that prevented 
properties from being deeded to black and brown people. In my opinion, without argument, to say that our history has a checkered past. And it appears that banks and financial institutions recognize the role that they played at some point in time in history, and they're leaning into the opportunity now to put their money where their mouth is. Hopefully this video has been advantageous for you. Again, if you don't know someone in your own personal local market to help you navigate this particular aspect of the real estate transaction, feel free to give me a message. Follow me on Instagram at bscottrealtor, and I look forward to being your source and your resource for all of your real estate news. Take care, and we'll talk soon.